technology, sure. big tech, it's rallied recently, but you're not in it, are you? I'd say buyer beware here, Stu. It's like when the tech bubble burst, the Nasdaq had 12 of its best days ever on the way down. I think that's what you're seeing here right now. Interest rates have come down a little bit. Animal spirits are out. All of a sudden, Bitcoin's up 25% for the year. Yeah. But I'd say I'd use this to get out if you're not out already. Why? You, you just can't go anywhere, big tech? Are you uh, killing my Microsoft here? <laughs> Microsoft did not, if you remember back then, they did nothing for like 13 years. Still a great company. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it. yeah, it was painful. I know, Stu. I know, Stu. <laughs> I owned it for 13 years and go, nowhere. And, and went nowhere. You were a patient man. You were rewarded. And then I sold some. <laughs> the thing went up. Such a typical investor, Stu. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Okay, so you're yeah. not back in. And not back in here, I think. This time, lessen your tech exposure, get diversified elsewhere. Okay. We had big banks, some earnings reports, uh, two this morning. What are they telling you about the economy and the markets? I think it's very good. I mean, we had beats on Friday. Bank of America did great numbers. So did uh, J.P. Morgan. You know, a little mixed today. Goldman didn't do so hot, but Morgan Stanley just crushed it. So I think we are seeing right now, Sue, is what I've been telling you on your show every week. I've been like one of the only people suspect that we're not going to recession. And it looks like we're probably not. Most analysts' expectations, their base case is we're going to go into recession. So their earnings estimates are too low. So yeah. I think that most companies are going to beat this quarter. Okay, so where do I put my money? You say, don't get back into tech. Yeah. Use this as an excuse to get out of big tech. Where do I put it in? Well, I'm enamored with the international markets right now. Even England, Stu. International markets? International look fantastic right now. They've already Most of our viewers don't invest in Britain or Japan or anyplace else. Thank God I'm here today, because if you actually look at <laughs> where the big bounces have been, they started you know, in the fall. They've come from, actually, Europe outperformed last year. It's outperforming this year, and emerging markets are going through the roof. That's true. And historically, they do just as well as the U.S. markets. It's typically cyclical. And right now, you're starting to see they're starting to lead the leadership right now, especially with China coming out of lockdown. Give me a British stock that you can get behind and buy. Glencore, old school. You've got coal. You've got all different metals that are going to be used for electric vehicles in the future, like copper. Um, it was a great stock last year. Valuation's still cheap. Most British stocks are still cheap. FTSE's all the way back to its all-time record high. Um, a lot of runway there. You know, any sort of recessionary fears are already priced in. Valuations are the cheapest in 20 years, and dividend yields are so impressive. You got to own Europe still. Yeah, maybe I should go back and buy some <laughs> drip. I don't know. Sell that it. Microsoft today. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not <laughs> doing that. That would be a headline I'm not prepared to go with. Uh, okay. So, um, what's the name of that company you just? Glencore. 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 Give me another one. Yeah. Give me man. You put me on the spot today. Yeah. Um, okay. So I also like I like Royal Dutch. Anything energy related in Europe trades at a discount to U.S. energy companies. And we know right now energy is not going away. The need for fossil fuels is going to be huge. Dividend yields very attractive. Valuations again are much cheaper than U.S. energy stocks. Got to own your portfolio. It's been a long time since we had a guest who said you got to put your money in Britain. <laughs> That's been a long, long time since. I we wanted heard to blow that. your mind this morning, Stu. Yeah, you did it, son. You did it.